this video, we are going to look at how you can use a web form that updates an existing Notion page where you can not only update the properties of that database page, but you can also let the user pick a relation property from that database. And we are doing this using Fillout, that is a form builder that integrates natively with Notion. So we can implement all of this without using an external automation tool. This is a Notion page that I have, and this page is composed of some databases, buckets, goals, and tasks. For this use case, in this example, we are going to use Fillout to update existing tasks pages where users can also pick the goal related to that task. Let's go to Fillout and let's create a new form. And the form type would be connect because we want to connect it natively with our Notion database. Then it will be a Notion form and then we'll choose dark theme and next. Next up, you will need to choose your existing connection if you already have it or you can create a new connection. I already have my connection here, but creating a new connection is very easy. You can just click on add new. You will name your connection. Then you can choose connect to Notion and you will be prompted to connect your Notion workspace here. So you can pick the workspace from the top right corner here of this pop-up. Then you will select the pages from that workspace that you want to give access to, to the fill out bot. In my case, I already have my connection established and I will click on next. Next up, I will need to select the workspace that I want to connect. In my case, that is Simo, that is this workspace here. And then we need to select which database we want to connect to this form. So in here, I know that the database is called tasks TM. This is the one. And I will pick that database here and create form. I will name it my motion form. This is just a test, so I don't care about that. And you will see here that I already have the fields or the properties from the Notion database here in Fillout, ready to be mapped into the form. You can see I have done status and goal, that is a relation type property, as well as a task name here. And these are the exact properties that I have in my Notion database. So let's let the user pick the task name, the status as well, and the goal. So these are the things that I wanna let the user select when they submit this form. So let's go to integrations. And you can see Notion is already selected. So I will select again Notion. And here I can select if I want to create a new page when the form is submitted or update an existing page. In my example, I want to update an existing page. To update an existing page from a fill out form, I will need to include this formula in my Notion database. And you can see that this formula contains the fill out form URL plus, that's a concatenation of strings, the equal sign, there is the question mark, and then the parameter ID, that is the ID of the Notion page, is passed on the URL so that Fillout can recognize that that's the Notion page that we need to update. So the URL of each form would be unique to that page. So we'll copy this formula and I will go to the Notion database, open any of the pages, then I will include a formula property, that is add the property, then you can do formula. And in here, you can paste that exact formula that Fillout provides here in the integrations tab. And now you have the unique form URL for this specific task. Next up, we can map out the fields, which is already done because we did a drag and drop directly from the fill out interface. So we can publish this form now. Let's say I want to let a user submit data for this task. That is task three. You can see that right now the status is open. The goal is empty and there is no bucket. That's a roller property. So I will copy this URL and share this with the end user that I want to fill out this form. So if I'm the end user right now, I have this URL. I'm, I want to update some data. I can see that the task name is already task three because this is already populated in Notion. But if I want to override that, I can write task test. And then the status, I can see it is already open. But if I want to move it to closed, and you can see the time management for mortals video to understand more about this, you can do that here. And then you have the goal. And here you can add a relation property directly from the form builder. And this is an exceptional feature that is not really widespread out there in other form builders because natively in a form builder, this is a very unique feature that Fillout offers and that otherwise you would need to use an automation software such as make to build. And in here you can see a list of goals from my goals database. So if I go to Notion and you can see that the goals database contains those exact goals that I have here, one, two, four. And you can see here I have one, two, three, four. And let's say I want to select goal four for this task, submit. So let's go back to our task here in Notion. If I submit this form, now let's go back to Notion. And you can see the task name was changed. There is the goal related automatically. The status is closed. We have the bucket automatically here and the form is submitted. That is how you can use fill out forms 
to update an existing Notion page. This can be especially useful if you have a database that you're managing Notion and you don't want to invite people to that database because of restrictions in your Notion workspace or because of the limitations of Notion's permission settings. In that case, you can keep your data centralized internally for you while you can ask your collaborators to use forms to update the data on your pages. And that can be especially powerful and effortless so that you can reduce the amount of emails that you need to send to your collaborators and you can actually ask them to just fill out an easy form that will populate your Notion database properly and then you can manage your work internally as you like following systems in the post hyperactive hive mind world if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below in the comments thank you for watching for now and see you soon